Hey, my name is Yasi. I am reader. When you are subscribed to our channel, you're gonna learn more about science and technology. Every single week upload one or more video for you. Hey, click the subscribe to our YouTube channel today. And make sure you hit the bell, make sure you turn on the notifications. Bluetooth is a wireless technology standard used for exchanging data between fixed and mobile devices over short distances using UHF radio waves in the industrial, scientific, and medical radio bands, from 2.402 GHz to 2.480 GHz and building personal area networks. It was originally conceived as a wireless alternative to ARS-232 data cables. Number 1. Three companies were working separately to create short-range technologies that would connect computers and different devices using shortwave frequencies. But science the invention was in its early stages, Intel, Ericsson, and Nokia decided that the best way to proceed was to create a single wireless standard. The name Bluetooth was proposed in 1997 by Jim Kardash of Intel who developed a system that would allow mobile phones to communicate with computers. At the time of this proposal, he was reading Franz G. Bengtsson's historical novel The Long Ships about Vikings and the 10th century Danish King Harald Bluetooth. Bluetooth is the anglicized version of the Scandinavian Blatand. It was the epithet of King Harald Bluetooth who united dissonant Danish tribes into a single kingdom, the implication being that Bluetooth unites communication protocols. They also paid tribute to the great Viking king when they came up with the logo. Hmm, just look like B to me. But if you examine if a little closer, and you happen to know the Nordic alphabet, then you'll see that the logo is formed from two different symbols. They represent the initial of the king, H and B for Harold Bluetooth. Number 2. Bluetooth can connect to eight devices at the same time with any interference from other wireless like garage door or baby monitors. Number 3. The Bluetooth transmitters in both your computer and your devices use 79 different frequencies in that range. Number 4. If you are wondering what devices use Bluetooth nowadays. The answer is almost all of them. Phones, headphones, earbuds, speakers stereos, TV, cameras, cars, tablets, game consoles, you name it. Number 5. When Bluetooth first came out it was really easy for someone to access your data without your permission. But over time this technology has become more secure. Number 6. There's this trend called blue jacking where a person or company can send you tear electronic business card or add as a text message using Bluetooth of course, when you see that, you either ignore it or panic. But this is something that mostly happens in public places. Where everyone is using tear phones. Number 7. The amount of non ionizing radiation present in Bluetooth headphones is a lot less than what's in a typical cell phone. Hey, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button below and click on the bell and turn on the notifications, it's very important to you. Thanks for watching and don't forget to put a comment below. Have a nice day.